guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dorothy from crazyforcrust.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of those beautiful lattice top pies. I don't know about you, but I used to think that lattice top pies were super pretty, but they were probably super difficult to make. I never wanted to attempt it, I was kind of scared. And then a couple years ago I went for it and I realized it's so much easier than it looks. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a lattice top pie crust. It's gonna be a great tutorial that will easily show you how to make this gorgeous pie crust recipe that you can use for any fruit pie for the holidays or any time of year. All right, so let's get started. First thing you need is my all butter pie crust recipe. You can find that on crazyforcrust.com. It's super easy to make. You can also use a refrigerated pie crust for this, but I highly suggest my all butter crust because it tastes amazing. All right, when you're gonna make a lattice crust, you basically go through all the steps of making a pie crust, all through the rolling out stage, and then it's time to make your lattice. So once you have your pie crusts filled with whatever fruit you're using, that's when it's time to make your lattice. And you just need this simple tool. This is a pastry cutter, you don't even have to have this tool. This one has the ruffled edges, it's gonna make those crimpled lattices. They also sell ones that are smooth, that you can use to make a smooth edge. If you don't have a pastry wheel, you can use a pizza cutter or just a knife with a ruler. Now, when you're making a lattice crust, if you're great at cutting straight lines, go ahead and do it by hand. I'm not, so I always like to use a ruler and even then they're crooked. <laughs> so I highly recommend the ruler. All right, so let's get started to make my easy lattice pie crust recipe. We're gonna start with pie crust rolled out, just like you're gonna put it in a pie plate. But instead, we're gonna prepare the lattice strips. I'm using a ruler and a pastry cutter. But again, you can use a pizza cutter or a knife if you want. Simply use the ruler to cut strips of pie crust. Now you want them to be about the same width each time. So you can do a half inch, you could do an inch, it just depends on how wide you want your lettuce. Just make sure to try and keep them as even as possible. Keep cutting and cutting until your entire pie crust is cut into nice long strips. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the lattice on top of your pie. You have your pie crust, it's chilled for at least 30 minutes, and then you're gonna add your filling. Then we're going to make the lattice. You're gonna take one strip of lattice and lay it on top of the pie crust, and then just keep going. I use the shorter ends on the shorter sides and the longer ends on the longer sides, and you just wanna layer them like that across the pie, leaving gaps in between each one. Once you have it finished one direction, every other lattice strip, and you're gonna peel it back. We're basically basket weaving here, but with pie crust instead. So pull back each lattice strip, pick up another, and put it underneath. And then you're going to wrap those other ones back down. Sometimes they break, if they break, just push them back together. Then you're gonna repeat this action by using the alternate strips that you didn't use the last time. You're gonna keep doing this every other strip until the entire pie crust is finished. Once the entire pie is covered with lattice, trim off the excess and crimp all the edges as desired. You can use a fork, you can use your fingers, however you like to crimp or design the edge of your pie crust, just do it that way. You could even leave it a little bit rustic looking like I do. Then it's almost ready to bake, except first we're gonna add an egg wash. I just take one egg that I lightly beat in a bowl and I take a pastry brush and I brush the egg wash all over the pie crust. This is gonna give you a nice browned pie crust. Now, if you don't have a pastry brush, you can definitely just use your fingers, that's totally fine. And if you have some coarse sugar, you can sprinkle that on top for a little bit of extra crunch. Once your pie is finished with egg wash, chill it for 20 minutes 
and then pop it into the oven and bake. When it's done, you're gonna get a gorgeous golden brown lattice topped pie. See how easy that was? It was super simple to make such a gorgeous pie. Wanna know what it looked like after we were done? Boom, that's my lattice top pie right there. Woohoo! look how pretty that is once it bakes up. It is just the most gorgeous thing that you could ever make and it looks so pretty on top of any fruit pie filling. Find all my fruit pie recipes at crazyforcrust.com. Thanks for watching today and eat something sweet.